So recently OpenAI's reasoning model won a gold medal at the International Math Olympiad. Well, sort of. Turns out Google's DeepMind also won but OpenAI tweeted it first and it grabbed all the headlines and Gemini's spotlight got nerfed and the actual students who earned these medals, well, they were completely overshadowed by the bots in their final form. But the real question that emerges here is what happens when these AI models start learning from each other. And we know that in BIG 2025, new AI models are dropping faster than new JavaScript frameworks. Each one flexes its benchmarks over another. And this trend is clear that there is more training and more accuracy the more weird emergent behavior we get to see from the models. Related to this topic, Anthropic, which is the parent company of Claude, plus Truthful AI dropped a research paper in July 2025. This research paper was backed by researchers like Owen Evans and Alex Cloud. They call it subliminal learning. Well, in this experiment, there is a teacher model which was trained to love owls. It clearly has a bias and it will give us an output and on that output, a student model will be trained. But there is a catch. Here, the teacher model is only allowed to output number strings which are completely gibberish to humans. We can't understand them easily. It's like a British guy speaking to perfect English. And somehow when the student model was trained only on those number string, the student pick up the teacher's owl obsession. When asked which is your favorite animal, it gave out owl. So there was no mention of owls, no prompts that a human can understand, but yet the vibes were transferred from the teacher model to the student model. Subliminal learning only works when the teacher and student share the same neural dialect, which means that a GPT model can teach GPT model, but a Claude trying to teach Meta's Lama, well, that's not going to work. Also, if a student model is too small, with a small I mean the capacity, it just doesn't have the brain space to spot the patterns. The subliminal learning only works at scale because the secret signals are hiding in deep corners of the model behavior like token formatting noise and other quirks listed in the research paper. But the question is what's really being passed? So here it's not just answers but preferences, tones, bias and even ideology. And with most companies now training new models on the output of older ones, AI is quietly raising itself like a green goblin whispering chaos into the mirror. So that's a glimpse into subliminal learning. If you want a deeper dive into the original research paper with all the methods, data and weird math, drop a comment. I will break it down in another video. 